Halo run in this tutorial I will show you how to create this very realistic sharpening effect to make your game look 10x more better. So as you can see on the screen it looks so much better and so much more realistic. And you can also change the values, the intensity of the sharpness and also the offset. So if you ever played the complex font footage you may have noticed that the uh, objects have a outline to them so it looks like a VHS effect and with this material you can also use that effect so this will be very good if you're making a vhs effect and you want to add that effect to your game because it looks so much better with that outline effect on the vhs and i just want to say this looks so good and it will greatly improve the visuals of your game and i'm sorry that i haven't been uploading for a while they haven't gotten around to it so yeah that's why and i will start uploading more and the footstep series will be coming so don't worry about that and yeah that's all and i hope you enjoy the video okay so first of all we want to create a new folder so right click new folder and call it post process materials um yeah just post process materials then i want to go into it right click create new material and call it sharpen m for material just like that. Now, I want to go into the material. And first of all, I want to change the material domain from surface to a post process. So, what I'm going to do first is to add a screen resolution. So, screen um, resolution. Then, out of here, I want to mask with the G. And then we can just duplicate this. Drag you into there. And then, Instead of G, we want to mask the R, so the red. Now, we want to divide it, so drag out of here and divide. Then, you want to make sure to drag this into a B value. Then, we can just duplicate this, do the same here. The value should be set to 1, so the default. Then, out of here, we want to multiply. Then we want to just duplicate this again, and this divide will go into the A value of the multiply. Then we want to hold down S and left click, so we get a scalar parameter. Then just call it offset, like that. The default value should be set to 2. Then out of here, let's go and search for floor. And this will go in to the multiply of the both uh, nodes. So just like that, make it a little bit nicer. Um, yeah, that looks that looks pretty nice. Then we want to drag out the multiply and append these both uh, nodes. And uh, vector, this one right there. Just like that. Now we have added all of these nodes to the append. So out of the append we want to get a multiply. So multiply. Then we want to duplicate this multiply four times. So we want to have this multiply four times. So one, two, three, four. Just like that. So now once you've done that, you want to hold down the two key and left click four times so one two three four then you want to just align them with the multiply nodes and then you want to drag this in there and then you into there and do this for all of the uh, nodes then out of the append we'll drag this in to all of the multiplies just like that now the x value of the first one will be set to 1. And then the y value will be set to 1 as well. And then the x value should be set to minus 1. And then this one should be set to minus 1 on the y. Just like that. So now we want to add all of these. So we just move you. And then hold down the A key and click four times so one two three four 
Then the multiply should go into the B value of every add. That. So now we want to connect the A value to something. So we want to get the screen position. Then out of the viewport UV, we want to mask the RNG only. And then the mask will go into all of the A values of the add. Just like that. Then we want to make sure to add a scene texture. So right click and search for scene texture. And then we want to change the scene texture ID from scene color to post process input zero. Then duplicate this five times. So we want this for no, we want this. We want to have five of these. So yeah. Just make it, it like that. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Then we just want to align them. Looks pretty good. Just like that. Then the mask RG will go into the first of the scene texture. Just like that. Then all of the add will go into the scene texture. So just drag these into the scene texture. Just like that. And then our the color of all of the scene textures we want to add. So hold down the A key and click three times. One, two, three. So the color will go into the A value and then this one will go into the B value. And then we drag you into the A value of this one and the color will go into the B value. Then do the same here. So this add will go into the A value of the add right there and the color will go into the B value. So it should look something like this. So make sure that everything is right. And then our the last one we want to add again and make sure to set it to the B value and then this scene texture coming out of here we want to add the color to the A value then out of the add we want to divide by 5 so the B value will be set to 5 like that And then out of the divide, we want to subtract. And then the color of the scene texture right there will go into the A value of the subtract. Then the subtract will go to the multiply. And the B value will be a scalar parameter, so hold on the S key and left click to get a scale parameter and call it intensity. So this will be the intensity of the sharpness and the default value will be set to 2.5 like that and then this will go into the B. Then our the multiplier there we will add, make sure to drag it into the B value and if you don't know how to break this link you can just hold down the alt key and left click on the link and it will disappear. So just drag it into the B. Then the A value of the add will be from the scene texture right there. So this one. So drag out the color and drag it into the A value. And then this add will go into the emissive color. So now as you can see it we have the material all done. And as you can see it looks very realistic and it is a very nice sharpening effect.
to make your game look extremely good <laughs> so yeah um so now the material is all done so make sure to have it as i do and if it doesn't work for you make sure to watch the video again and make sure that you make everything like i do okay so now just apply and save then we can just close over here and then we want to right click on the sharpen and we want to create a material instance and then just call it the default name and now what this will do we can actually change the intensity value of it much easier so now in the material instance we can actually change the intensity and the offset of the material so we want to tick these two values and then as you can see i can drag this up to make it sharper or drag it down to make it blurrier and i want to set this value to about 2.5 so the default value and the offset is actually the i don't know how to call it but it makes a kind of outline of all of the objects so if you ever played the complex found footage you may know that um, the uh, all of the objects have kind of a VHS outline and this is how you do it uh, so yeah this will work with a VHS if you are making a VHS video game but I want to set it to about the default value so uh, 2 now we can just save and now I want to add this to the camera so I want to go in to the first person folder blueprints and into the BP first switch character. Then, want to go into the viewport, click on the camera, and want to search for mat. Then, as you can see here, rendering features, post post materials, you want to drop down this tab right there, and want to add an array. So, click on this add element, and choose a asset reference. Now, this will be our material that we just made. So sharpen instance now if we compile a save and try it out you see that the game is much more sharpened and it looks very very good and you can change the value and i think that this one's a little bit too sharp so i will change it to about let's say two let's try it out now yes this looks much better and this makes your game look so much better, so much more realistic. And as you can see, we can also change the offset to, let's say, about 5. Um, and as you can see, it creates a outline of all of the materials. So this will uh, be a very, very good thing for a VHS game if you're making one. So yeah, that's the video. Hope you like it and I will see you in the next one and make sure to join the discord. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I will be making more videos soon, I promise. And yeah. Bye.